We're moving on to the manual muscle test of the triceps. So with his arm hanging off the table, the primary action of triceps is to extend the forearm at the elbow joint, but because of the long head, it also has the action of doing some horizontal extension, like so, or horizontal abduction, as some text will refer. So I'm gonna have you straighten your elbow first and then lift it up off the table. Now it's not gonna go all the way up into here, and that's too much motion. Um, it's more of a weak, kind of shoulder extensor. So just kind of clearing up off the table is really enough for us. So one more time for active range of motion and about there. Okay, I'm gonna have you do that on your own. Great. So for this test, the break test, we're gonna be doing a combination of both joints at the same time. So we call this a long lever test, but the primary action is gonna be at the elbow. So I'm going to have him hold his elbow in this position. Um, so it's not locked, um, but we're outside of that lock, but his shoulder is also up off the table. So he's going to hold that. I'm primarily going to be trying to bend his elbow. So he's going to let me do that just for a second to show that. So as I, I push, I'm going to try to be doing this. But because his arm is up off the table, it's also going to be extending at his shoulder at the same time. So I'm going to be re resisting down here near his ulna. So if he's going to hold this position for me, and don't let me move. My other hand's gonna go above on the scapula. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. So starting from this position, please straighten your arm all the way out first. Straighten, straighten, straight at the elbow, and I'll lift it up off the table. Good, let's do that one more time. So all the way through the elbow motion, extension, extension, and now shoulder up off. And that will conclude the concentric. So active, break, and concentric for the triceps. Moving on to the length assessment for the triceps. It might be a little bit tricky and not everybody will be able to do this because of the shoulder position. But what I'm going to do is bring his arm kind of up above his head. Again, the main part of triceps is extension at the elbow. So the first thing I'm going to do is fully flex, bringing his forearm together. And then because of the component of doing extension um, at the glenohumeral joint, I'm going to bring his arm up into flexion. So this might be very uncomfortable for somebody. So we're gonna start by doing this as I just did in the prone position, but the alternative is to do it in seated. We're gonna do the length assessment in a seated position for triceps. So again, as I was just mentioning, the primary action is elbow extension. So the first thing I wanna do is fully flex the elbow. The secondary component is that it does extension or horizontal extension at the shoulder. So the second part that I'm going to do is bring his arm up into flexion as much as I can. Good. So this is the length assessment. Now, if you did it the opposite way, what you would notice is if I went into shoulder first and then tried to bring the forearm, is I won't actually get that forearm all the way fully flexed and his shoulder is higher up into flexion. So if we take him out, fully flex the forearm first, I won't get anywhere near as far back into shoulder flexion. Um, so this is more important to lengthening the triceps, otherwise we're gonna be doing a lot more lengthening through the axilla and shoulder region.